The Aral Sea lies in a depression in Central Asia, east of the Caspian Sea. Known technically as a landlocked saltwater lake, it was once the fourth largest inland body of water in the world. In the 1950s, the Aral Sea's water resources were largely untouched. Two rivers replenished the sea. Sturgeon and other fish supported a modest fishing industry, and boats served the sea's many islands. The region was governed by the Soviet Union, which, after World War II, took on major water projects with the goal of boosting economic output. Land around the sea was converted from pasture to cotton fields. Farming and other industries drew considerable amounts of water from the rivers that replenished the sea. By the 1980s, water feeding into the Aral Sea had become so scarce that the sea was evaporating away. The sea's water level dropped more than 50 feet by 1989. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, regional governments tried to conserve water and forestall the demise of the sea. But their efforts were poorly coordinated, and so by 2000, the sea level declined by a total of 125 feet. The shoreline narrowed considerably, as seen in this satellite imagery. The sea divided first into smaller pools, then narrow lakes, the Northern Aral Sea and the Southern Aral Sea. They were over three times as salty as the original water. Fish and other life died off. Salt and industrial chemicals once dissolved in the water were carried as dust to the land, causing disease. Isolated islands in the sea that were once secure sites for Soviet germ warfare tests became vulnerable to land access as water evaporated away. Since 2005, water projects have been successful in keeping the northern Aral Sea filled. The southern Aral Sea, however, has been largely abandoned due to desiccation.